Yes, my peeps, welcome to the Yardman Second Chance channel. Well, we have to give thanks to Father God for preservation of life. Thank God for keeping one more day on top of the earth. Seeing, yeah, I'm big up on my subscribers who keep on subscribing to the Yardman Second Chance channel. So tell a friend to tell a friend. Saying, just come support the thing and watch the ads them. Saying, well, as I sit on my screen, I show you a prison. I'm going to tell you why you watch this story. Saying, come and watch this story and it's really touching. So I decide to bring it to my subscribers. That's why you see some parents who don't have to know how to deal with their kids. Because somehow they make on, on make on own prison, kids end up in prison. When they own kids, they don't end up in a prison or end up in a certain situation to how to treat them. See? I want to listen to this story from this gentleman who was in prison for 24 years. And in circumstances, how he reached a prison. And then we elaborate on it a little bit. See? Take a listen. Oh, it reached a point where my father decided not to put up with me anymore. At 11 years old, he pushed me out of the home. Right? And I had to grow up on the streets. Pick up back a wipe car glass, thief people things on the streets for them. Now the thing is that I was in and out of a proof school. We don't follow no boys home, but when they know you where people say that and, and then push out and police get involved, then take a care of a boys home. And boys home is basically a prison for little people. So, but if you say they don't have a prison for you, they have a prison for you. All right, so at 17, leave boys home, back out on the streets. Went home to my father, my father said, Boy, I'm not a place to put you, you know. You're a big man now. You are transiting, as bro said, the transition between youngsters to adults is happening right now. Oh, you make this transition is very important. I never had any intervention programs like this to come and try to save me. A teacher saw Mr. Brown, brought him into home economics, told him it was wasting his time. I never had anyone to reach out to me. So, at 17 years old, I was charged for murder. Jesus. Ooh. Capital murder. And I was sentenced to death. Then some of the prisoners are dead. Then they the hang me. I was prison, I was on death row, and I appeal the case. And after the appeal came through, they said, all right, nobody kill him. But we can rat in prison. They give me a sentence when I have a date to come home. I'm in the prison. I'm a boy. I'm gonna have nothing to live for. I'm gonna start behave badly. Every minute, me in a fight. Every minute, oh, I beat me up. Because I'm gonna have nothing to live for. It was while I was in prison, officer. Ada. I read it to install in this car. And we can't forget, I tell the man, say, we know if you install a radio. We don't know if you install a radio. You know? mm. And I tell the man, say, we know if you install a radio. And he say, you sure? I say, I say, yeah, man. He go to the superintendent and tell the prison. And he asks for the opportunity to bring the car coming to the prison so that we can install a radio. And that is how I get my first crew driver, one pliers, and one tester. And I sit for about two hours because I may have little knowledge, you know, I have good, may have a good sense. I may figure out the life and the grounds in the car. And if I may figure out the life and the grounds, I say, all right, the car burn up again. <laughs> and when I tap connect to me find one speaker wire. And I connect again until I find the next three speaker wire. And that was all. I started to 
see the use in my life. May I say, but we can do something, man. Yes. While in the prison, they started a school program. Just out of curiosity. I matter of fact, it wasn't even curiosity. It was just for the fact that I wanted to come out of the cell. Because those who were going to school, they get more opportunity for the outside. So I was lucky that I said, I'm a little chill. I may say, man, also that run up and down who are going to school. So I may say, yeah, we can get some extra hours out. So we're going to run the school program. And we start getting locked out now. I say, yeah. You may say, no. I did maths. And I made the only person in the prison get a one in the maths. Whoa. I said, all right. So, we decided to go further. So, we take on English, we take on HS, we take on um, IT. And principles of business. And guess what? One again. One, 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 one. So, while I was in prison, I did five subjects. And we get one in a whole of them. We never know what happened to me, you know. But we still have prison can't come out. So I said, boy, why it makes sense me I get to police education and I'm in a left prison. It just so happened that I met someone while I was in prison. I have like a phone and I make like a call and meet somebody. And that person, when that person was talking. And when I was about to to leave prison, I never know what time I leave prison. Um, I spent 24 years behind bars. Wow. Going on my 17, I'm come out to my 41. And so 24 years was just wiped out. But I got a lawyer in the case and they went back to court and they made some appeals and the judge said I'm not ready for left prison because the type of crime I'm in charge for when I do the time yet. Two years after I go court again, one judge decides a boy, unconditional release. Let him go making us track start, start over in life. So 2018. June 18, 2018. After 24 years being by, we finally get to walk through the prison gate. We come out with five subjects. So, the same person we meet in the prison. Yes, my peep. So, you see what go on this, huh? The brother, I know. End up at prison for number 17. Look like he never have no subject now, not at all. So, he can be dead on the street. And him end up get five subject with all one. See? So he make an improvement in him life. But I'm going to hope so he keep on the straight and narrow when he drop a road. Look like he's going to do that still because he's going to have ambition. See? So I tell you, say you see parents, how you deal with your kids. Not sure you look a kid might do something wrong. Not push them out of your house. Especially boy. Don't push out boy and go for girl, girl, child too. Because some girl get pregnant early. At say 14, 15. And the mother run her out of the house. She gonna have to live with the baby father. She have to really have ambition for it somewhere. You know? Yeah, she have to really have ambition for it somewhere. Because that girl now is going up in all kind of thing of three, four, five, six, seven picnic match up her life. Same thing with the boy picnic. You put out your boy to him and make a little mistake in her life. You take him in. Take him in. Make him stay and, and talk to him. And make him know say no, no, no good in the outer road. And then we end up in prison and you try to talk to your youth. Because you are the father, you know. That means you're not a real father if you can't talk to a youth and try to put him on the right street, right way. You see what I say? 
So parents have a lot to do with the kids how them come out, you know. Even though sometimes the kids them come out good and them follow other kids and go astray. But majority of the time, the people them live where them learn from them parents and grow good and end up in the right way. See? So the youth them out there now, when I tell you now, we still can make a change in our life. We don't have to just step on this one way road and go down the hill. We can change direction, my youth, and turn on a different road. We want to learn something. See, this man has go back to school and end up get five subjects all at once. So we can change in a life not too late and come out and be something in a life. See? A piece of no bed arose, you know. He could have dead inside you know, and never have a chance to get a second chance. So this is a typical second chance. As you see, we show him second chance. And we have featured this brother here today. We we'll get a real second chance. See? So that is it. No matter the circumstances, we want to find ourselves in you know. Like them can be a light at the tunnel, the end of the tunnel, man. You can make you find your own way out. It depends on you and your mindset, the ambition you have. So don't give up on life when even though when your parents should be out on the road and thing, and you go through the worst of the worst, you still can come out to be somebody respectable in a life. See? Never give up, brother. Never give up. Because there's always a second chance. See? For everyone. So yard man I tell you, yard man second chance, can me get the second chance too. I may make you say it. So we are telling you them say there is always a second chance out there for everybody. See? No matter what you're in or your circumstance. So don't lose faith. See? And stay focused. And all of the youth them we are telling you. Try to get something out of life. See? So you don't know. Keep on subscribing to my channel. I will bring nice good stories like this to elevate the youth them and inspire them. If you not go the wrong way. See? So keep on subscribing to the Yardman Second Chance channel and watch the ads. And thanks for watching the video. We out.